Hi, my name is David J. Neff, and I'm the author of a new book, uh, The Future of Nonprofits, How to Thrive and Innovate in the Digital Age, uh, with my co-author Randy. Uh, and I had about 10 years at the American Cancer Society in the United States to kind of develop what we think is uh, the future trends for fundraising and communications in the nonprofit space. And I'm here today at the RTs conference in Toronto, Canada, and I'm keynoting. Uh, on a lot of the concepts in the book and what the future looks like for nonprofits. Uh, and you can check us out on the web at Dave I Am is my Twitter handle, and the website is thefutureofnonprofits.com. Oh, that's great. Um, I want, okay, I want to ask you three questions. What do yeah. you think are the three key um, things to look out for for the future of nonprofits? Yeah, I think geolocation is huge, the ability to check in, uh, tell your friends where you are, and have them know where you are. Uh, and even fundraising around geolocation. Uh, I think the loss of privacy uh, is a big thing in the future. Uh, nonprofits are going to really get to know who their employees are, which is scary, uh, and who their constituents are, which is a good thing. Uh, but we really have a complete loss of privacy in the future because of all the social media and, and digital and, and the ways people are tracked in databases. Uh, and the third thing is the change in donor attitudes. Uh, the next group of people coming up, they're going to give to your nonprofit. They really want to know what the return on investment are. Think of them as bank investors uh, and not just as people who will give you five or ten bucks. They want to know where that money's going and how it's used. Well, that's great. What do you think about, what are your thoughts on gamification with nonprofits? Uh, it's it's huge. Um, nonprofits are really going to have to adjust to uh, that 16 year old who, in six years, is going to be old enough to start giving money to your nonprofit. And they're raised on Xbox getting points for game achievement, their PlayStation 3 getting points, trading those points in, playing games on Facebook and getting points for that. So, how can nonprofits adjust uh, to gamify donations or how they interact with them? In fact, there's an entire school in uh, New York City. Uh, that is all about, instead of students graduating, students level up. And it's all based on game theory to teach people things. So uh, I think it's just going to get bigger and bigger, and nonprofits need to uh, start adjusting. Oh, that's great. So the technology with augmented reality, do you think it's too soon for nonprofits to start looking at that technology, trying to figure out how to adapt? Uh, I don't or... think so. I mean, I, I don't see anybody using it right now, but I definitely think people should start thinking about it. Um, how do we leave a tip uh, on our building or, you know, the fifth person who scans our building with their augmented reality uh, and volunteers for us it gets a t-shirt for volunteering that other volunteers can't have. How do we reward people for using that virtual technology? But I still think phones uh, are not there, uh, but by 2016, which we write a lot about in the book, absolutely. Oh, you know what? That's great. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, you bet. Thanks for having me. Bye-bye.